Energy Sage, our, our flagship product, is our online marketplace for rooftop solar. Um, the concept is homeowners, small business owners come to our site, share a few details about their property, including their electric bills. We share those details with our nationwide network of local solar installers. We prepare custom quotes for that property, for that electric bill, submit those quotes online to our platform, then run a standard analysis on it. So we can provide a true apples to apples comparison of those different offers, what solar might look like on your property. Um, Every time, every, almost everybody using our platform is a first time buyer for solar. There aren't that many people going through this process a second time. Um, so education is really key. Um, we support that through online help, a lot of long form content, uh, live customer support, our energy advisor team that uh, helps people understand their options, help them compare quotes. Um, and uh, yeah, we're looking to bring that same approach to other kinds of energy technologies. Um, we've expanded to a community solar marketplace. So if you don't own your roof if you have bad credit, uh, if you've got bad shading or whatnot. Um, instead of getting a custom installed solar panel system on your property, you can take part in a, a community solar farm in your area. Uh, so you're getting solar electricity, it's just not mounted on your property. Um, we've also expanded into battery storage. Uh, we're starting to serve commercial and industrial uh, uh, customers as well. And we're looking to get into other clean energy products and services at, through an online marketplace platform. So the, the engineering team at Energy Sage is about 20 engineers, a uh, mix of uh, front-end specialists, back-end specialists, and a whole lot of full stack. Um, certainly it's a, it's a web platform, so web technologies are certainly the, the key part there. Um, we've also got a, a growing cloud engineering team and a business intelligence uh, kind of data engineering team. Um, the team is split out into pods. Um, the idea there is that there's a group of engineers with a product manager and help from the design team focused on a particular end user segment. So for example, we've got a pod focused on the rooftop solar uh, consumer uh, segment. We've got another pod focused on the rooftop solar uh, installer segment, another one focused on our community solar marketplace. Um, the idea there is that each pod has all of the um, skills and techniques and capacity they need to um, define, design, prioritize, implement, test, and ship uh, a new bit of work to improve the experience for that end user segment. So try to you know get the decision-making kind of last mile as focused as it can be. Um, and uh, certainly within the pods, uh, I guess really within engineering and energy stage, we're, we're committed to learning and growing. We know that being an engineer means uh, always learning new things. If, you, if you're not learning, you're gonna eventually be outdated. Um, so we, we commit to learning on the team in a few different ways. Certainly code reviews are really an important part of our process, making sure that all code gets at least another pair of eyes on it, looking for opportunities for different ways of, of doing things, different techniques you can learn. Um, also, there's always a pod tech lead that's kind of um, shepherding the team through, recognizing where people can uh, kind of level up skills, uh, match them with new projects to help ex exercise those new skills. Um, also, as a, as a company, we're not shy from, from jumping into pair programming sessions, especially for learning new parts of the code base, uh, different techniques, it can be really powerful. We're not pair programming first, but we, we certainly see the value to it, um, especially for, for education. Um, then we also got other supports like a, a engineering book club uh, and also lunch and learn sessions where we look at tech talks, for example, and, and uh, then have a discussion about what that, how that relates to our work at Energy Sage, what we agree with, what we disagree with, how we, how we can apply it to our day-to-day -day work. So uh, we're, we're close to a team, uh, really like the work we're doing. Um, uh, yeah, lots of opportunity for growth. Certainly at a high level, a lot of the work we do is focused on leveraging data and automation to, uh, to solve a couple of problems, certainly to streamline processes on, on both sides of the marketplace. Certainly we're serving both buyers and sellers of solar panel and other clean energy systems. So whatever we can do to automate their steps and reduce the manual effort, that's all for the good. Um, the other thing is, is broadly educating buyers and sellers through different tools, calculators, uh, comparison data analytics tools, uh, within that, but, but I guess one very specific project that I wanted to highlight that we've got coming up this year, we're tackling automated preliminary rooftop system design. So uh, based just on an address, we can use technology to determine where the panels would go, what roof surfaces are appropriate for panels, what the shading might look like, um, you know, how, how best to do the kind of jigsaw puzzle of where to fit the panels on the roof, estimate the electricity production of those panels, and then determine the economics, you know, based on uh, costs for different packages that different installers might offer. Um, so really uh, trying to fully automate 
the the quote preparation uh, uh, to get preliminary quotes for, for homeowners to get that as, as quickly as they can get that insight right away without having to actually wait for an installer to manually prepare a quote for you. So super excited about the, the system design automation project coming up. So on the back end, we're primarily a Python shop using the Django web framework. On the front end, uh, we are embracing the Vue.js uh, reactive uh, web allocation framework. Um, we really love the single file components aspect of Vue.js. It's really flexible and, and well thought out framework. Um, infrastructure all in AWS um, using containers and infrastructure as code. Um, and then we've uh, recently switched over to using GitHub Actions for continuous integration and deployment. Um, so cloud first, cloud always, uh, Python, Vue.js, um, but happy to, you know, especially folks that already know other languages, other web development frameworks, happy to, to train you on the job. Uh, we, we know that, uh, you know, syntax is syntax and a lot of the, the you know, the harder part is the, um, the knowledge that goes into, um, you know, figuring out what, what the broad technical approach is, not the, the specific syntax of Python or Vue. So we do our best in, through the interview process to aim for kind of a day in the life of a typical engineer. Uh, we avoid uh, whiteboarding exercises, that kind of thing. Our technical assessments are always open book. So you can Google stuff, you can check Stack Overflow. You know, we use those tools too sometimes. Um, we do our best to make it live and interactive. So you can sort of ask us questions. Um, you know, we can give, give gentle nudges because again, uh, that's how we roll as a team. We support each other. We, um, you know, want to set people up for success and want to have assessments that um, align with what it would be like as a as a regular engineer. Um, when possible, if you if you come to us with a, a project you've written yourself, you have code yourself, we'll use that instead of a, a canned assignment. Certainly, we want you know uh, if you can use your own code, your own tools, it's going to be a lot more organic to really help us get a sense for what you'd be like in the chair. Um, and I guess the other thing I want to point out, uh, certainly we'll always ensure that anytime you're interacting with engineers on the energy stage team through the hiring process, we always leave a good percentage of the time for you to ask us questions. Certainly, you know, it, it's sort of a two-way thing. We want to make sure there's there's a good fit both directions. We want to make sure you have the information you need to, to feel confident in your decision to move forward with energy stage. Yeah, now is definitely a great time to join Energy Sage. The, the solar industry is booming kind of at a macro level. Um, we are an established name within the solar industry. Um, since 2018, through all our transparent, unbiased content covering a huge breadth of, of material, um, we've been the number one solar website in the US. Um, you're welcome to try it. Google anything about solar, you'll find us. Um, and I'm, I'm proud to announce that uh, we're now part of the Schneider Electric family. Um, they're a, a global name in electricity, committed deeply to decarbonization, and they see us as a, as a clear path forward and really are committed to our, our transparency um, and, and telling it like it is in the solar industry that has helped uh, get us to where we are today. Um, there's, there's funding to fuel our growth, and they also open the door to international expansion. Currently, we're U.S. only, but next couple of years, I expect we are going to start uh, reaching out to other countries. Um, also, um, you know, I've been I've been with Energy Sage since the, the beginning when it was just the CEO and me in a co-working space. Um, we're now at a point where we're big enough to be past the chaos and uncertainty of, of early stage startup, but we're still small enough where you know everybody and you can contribute on many levels. So it's really it's really a great time to join.